Things are going to be hard, things are going to be difficult. You have to find a way to encourage yourself and people around you to be in a good mood. You've got enough dredge and sorrow. We want to bring some smiles. I am the artistic director of the Happiness Club. Tagline! <laughs> I think the best thing that I can tell you about this group is that it's an arts and education program, but it's also a club. We try to inspire almost anybody that we come in contact with, with our infectious joy in dancing. I don't care your size, your color, your gender. I don't care. I want you to feel safe and feel celebrated. So we're welcoming to anybody that is not afraid to be a good example. Like if you don't give these young people space and opportunity, that's when you'll find them involved in gangs and in violence and getting themselves into trouble. When I wanted to go outside and still do the next negative stuff like be outside with gang members and stuff like that. I had to think about like, oh, I have a happiness club with her, so oh, I have a happiness club, so that means uh, I gotta go here, so that means I can't go outside. One of our members is currently living at Parkway Gardens and does not have a safe space to even just go outside and play. Coming here makes me forget about a lot of the stuff in my neighborhood. I am 28 years old. I've been part of happiness club since about 10 years, I'd say almost a decade. Before having club, I went nowhere, to be honest. I never went outside Chicago. Being in East Ed Road, when Barack was in office, in his field or that White House, that was a party. I can never forget it. Michelle Obama wrote me a letter saying thank you, um, congratulations, or, you know, for coming out. They would love to see us again. Peace, love, happiness club. We about that, do it right, turn it up. We sing dance right. Man, have to spend love. You only, only live once. You got a life, live it up. So where we are right now is the Harold Washington Cultural Center. Everywhere you look, you can see the evidence of what we've contributed to America. This is the best place for them to be so they can see how great that they can be everywhere they look. The kids are amazing. It shows that kids that come here that didn't know how to rap, sing, dance, or even had the confidence to even want to do anything. Now, what do you know how to do? Rap, sing. Now they are performers. We've got a song called Shake That Stress Off. Bring it back. Come on, one, two, three, one, two, three. Primarily about when you're stressed out, when you're upset, how do I deal with that? What do I do? I can't just go break stuff. I need to find a healthy way to let some of that anxiety and anger go. And it's one of our favorite, most popular songs, and the people that wrote it are now grown-ups, but it's still a song that is requested every time we go. It's one of the bangers. We play that song, and everybody wants to learn the dance. We're trying to show them that happiness is a choice. It's infectious because if I have a good attitude and somebody else came in not so good and I hugged that person, my energy just transferred to them. <laughs> oh, this shit. Peanut! Tangy means everything. So mother, mentor, friend, sister, brother, uncle, anybody. You honestly would want her to be. She can be that for you. She's a star. I'm very, very lucky to ever run into a person like Tangy Harper, and I feel like anybody else around us should feel the same. It's important for me as an adult to pass down what I wish people would have told me to the young people that I come in contact with. Go Happiness Club!